Hello everybody. In this PowerPoint beast mode video, I'll show you how to make organization charts and process flow diagrams fast, really fast. First, let me show you two examples. First, number one, organization chart. I've taken an example from US Department of State. Most organization hierarchy charts are complex and they change frequently. The shapes must be aligned properly and they should be evenly spaced out. Sometimes you may even have to use the magnifier to provide additional focus. Let me go to example two, that is process flow diagrams. This sample picture is from a United Nations development report. Look how neatly the shapes have been placed. Observe the number of lines. Inserting each one of these line connectors is a repetitive exercise. As we move forward in this video, we learn to create these with lightning speed and accurate alignment. So let's get started. Trick number one, how to create replicas of shapes that are aligned. So I choose a rectangle as an example. I press shift control. I keep it pressed and then I use the mouse to drag it to the right hand side. You notice a ghost like replica appears before my screen. As I release the mouse, this becomes permanent. If now you press control Y as a shortcut key. It quickly repeats your last action, thereby allowing you to create same shape multiple times with equal spacing and alignment. Let me try this as one cluster. I press shift control and I take them as a cluster towards the bottom of the slide. Once I release the mouse click and then press control Y, see what happens. Same for the next two circles. I select both these. I press shift control, move them to the right. The smart guides, the red dotted lines tell me where to stop. Once I do stop, I press control Y, control Y, control Y. A lot of people use F4 function key in place of control Y. Trick number two. If you have to connect these shapes with connectors and you do not want to make individual connectors every time, follow this trick. Go to insert, go to shape, Right click on the elbow arrow connector and you get an option saying lock drawing mode. Let me click on it. And now what happens is I can start connecting these shapes without interruption. I do not have to go to the shape sections again and again and again. Once this is done, I may press escape. If you're thinking how to get this format of gray color to the other connectors, try this trick. Select the original gray connector, press Ctrl Shift C. Select the other connectors in a group, press Ctrl Shift V. Now that was a bonus trick. Trick three, if you want to learn how to create this magnifier effect, follow these three steps. First, choose the original picture and make a replica by pressing Ctrl D, D for duplicate. Next, go to format tab and go to crop dropdown. Choose crop to shape and decide which geometrical shape would you want to mold the magnifier into. I decide to use oval. Then again go to crop drop down and choose the first option of crop. You'll see black clips covering the edges of the picture. Well use that to adjust the placement of the focus and once it is done, you may click outside. There you go. This is the magnifier. After this, you may decide to increase the size. Trick number four. If you're working with multiple shapes and you have to adjust their size, it's difficult unless you know how to group. Without grouping, the resizing will not happen perfectly. So I go back. I keep all these three shapes chosen. I press Ctrl G, G for group. Now, if I press shift and stretch this entire cluster, see how neatly it is increasing in size. Once done, you may decide to ungroup them again. How? By pressing Ctrl Shift G. Trick number five. If you have to align these shapes fast, how do you do that? Well, take my suggestion. You select the shape, you go to format tab, you right click on the align button and the first thing you do is add it to quick access toolbar. Okay, as you do it, you see an icon coming up on the top left corner of your screen. Fine. Now I'll show you how to use it. I select all the five shapes. I press Alt key. Alt key activates these button on the quick access toolbar. In my case, it is digit five. So I press digit five from the keyboard. 
Now each of these options are denoted by one specific letter. For example, L for left, C for center, R for right. And most of these letters are very intuitive to learn. For example, H for horizontal, V for vertical. My next immediate target is to make sure the alignment happens within the selected objects area and not the entire slide. Fine. So I keep it selected or I may activate it by pressing letter O from the keyboard. Now watch the magic. Alt 5, H for horizontal. Alt 5, M for middle. Superb. Once done, group it. Control G. Now try the same with the other cluster. Alt 5 H, Alt 5 M. Noticed how fast it happened? You can of course decide to group them. Now all these tricks I'll try to use in the next example. If you have to create complex hierarchy chart or process flow diagram and you have to create shapes like these, what do you do? You choose the base shape, let's say the one in grey. Press Shift Control, move it to the right. With your mouse. Release the mouse and then the Shift Control. Once done, press Ctrl Y, Ctrl Y, Ctrl Y, super. Similarly, if you have to create another set of shapes on top of it, you follow the same procedure. Ctrl Y after using Shift Ctrl technique. Now it's a matter of aligning them together. So I select the grey clusters, group them. I select the orange cluster, I group them too. Once they have been grouped, it's now just two units in front of you. I press Alt key then digit 5, then pressing letter C. Notice how easily they got center aligned. Now you may decide to ungroup them by pressing Ctrl Shift G. If you have to now connect them with lines, code insert, shapes, right click on the elbow arrow connector and use the lock drawing mode to connect them in one go. Once done, press escape. It's time for a quick wrap up of this PowerPoint Beast mode video. In this video, you learn the shortcut keys to create organization charts and process flow diagrams through various tips and tricks. Apply these learning to your job and become faster, save time and bring efficiency.